Bismillahirrohmanirrohim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, Bapak Ibu, the audience and the presenters of the uh, international virtual conference on language and literature held by the Language Center of State Polytechnic of Malang. In this occasion, I'd like to present my small-scale research entitled Investigating Graduate Students' Challenges of Writing for Scholarly Publication, a Genre Knowledge Perspective. My name is Masudi Latif, and I'm a student of graduate program of English Language Education of Universitas 11 Maret, Surakarta. All right, so I have divided my presentation today into six elements. They are introduction, literature review, research method, findings, discussion, and conclusion. Let me start with the introduction first. Basically, when we are talking about writing for publication, uh, so, so this thing has been considered challenging for EFL, English as a Foreign Language, as well as EAL, or English as an Additional Language Writers. So this argument has been proposed by Flower2 in 2007 and Highland in 2016. There are actually some reasons of those challenges, such as the limited opportunity to practice English. Of course, when, when the writers are students of EFL or EIL, so they only uh, have the opportunity to practice English uh, through their formal schooling context. And there is also a burden of developing the English proficiency because English is not extensively used in the society. So there is a burden or uh, there is a tension for developing that proficiency. So this element is often referred to as discursive barriers of uh, scholarly publication. There is also another challenge faced by those writers, uh, including the un understanding of norms, conventions, and conversations of certain academic community. So this was proposed by Bazerman in 1980. Basically, when we are talking about the understanding of such uh, things in the academic community, so this is called non-discursive challenges. So we do have two types of challenges when we are talking about uh, the challenges that, uh, that those writers faced in writing for publication. So they are discursive challenges or discursive barriers and non-discursive challenges or non-discursive barriers. So those things uh, motivate me to conduct this research. So that's why there is one research question that guides the investigation of this topic, namely, what are the challenges faced by graduate students in writing for scholarly publication? Now, I'm going to explain the literature review which underpins this study. Basically, when um, when I when when I started to uh, in, to be interested in this topic. I found one interesting framework that can be used to analyze the finding of the study. So the framework is genre knowledge perspective proposed by Tardi in 2009. Uh, so this framework was used as theoretical lenses to analyze the encountered challenges of writing for publication. Tardi in 2009 uh, divide genre knowledge into four types. They are formal knowledge, process knowledge, rhetorical knowledge, and subject matter knowledge. So formal knowledge is actually the understanding of structural elements of a genre. So it includes 
such elements as structural moves, lexical grammatical features, modes of genre communication, and associated linguistic codes pertaining to a genre. So basically, when we are talking about formal knowledge, so the element um, are basically lexical grammatical features, which include vocabulary and grammar, structural moves, and associated linguistic codes, or some, some linguistic elements of a genre, or in this case, a genre of academic paper. Then process knowledge is the understanding of genre-related procedural practices, which are the process of genre composition and dissemination. So in this context, um, the process knowledge is uh, the overall process of um, writing for publication, starting from outlining the academic paper into getting published in an academic journal. So the process knowledge also includes peer review process as one of the distinctive feature of um, academic paper publication. The third element is rhetorical knowledge. So this is the understanding of the intended purposes of a particular genre in the given context where it is situated. So in the context of writing for publication, so this is the purpose of writing that paper, whether the paper belongs to a more theoretical based paper or maybe um, teaching oriented paper. Of course, those are two different types of paper have their own intended purposes as well as their own intended audience. And the last one is subject matter knowledge, which covers specific content knowledge of someone's discipline. So um, it depends on the writer itself, whether they belong to social science, humanities, um, uh, what else, uh, hard science, engineering, and so on. So it depends on someone's discipline. All right, so now let's move on to the research method. Uh, in terms of the research method, um, I designed this study from the qualitative point of view. So this study was conducted through semi-structured interview with um, three master students of English language education from three public universities in Indonesia. So the interview protocol was developed by using uh, TARDIS genre knowledge conception. In order to be eligible to participate in the study, those participants had to fulfill two requirements. The first one is that they belong to the final year master students of English language education, and they have, uh, they should have at least one published article in a reputable journal. So, to obtain the data, yeah, uh, I did, I or I conducted a structured interview, semi-structured interviews of around thirty to forty-five minutes in each session. And before that, I invited the participants through the email and my own a personal network of, um, you know, WhatsApp and Line application. And in order to do the data anal analysis, I applied some procedures. So the first one is I, I did the data transcription and I read the data transcription for more than once. And I also uh, distributed uh, the result of the data transcription to the participants so that the participants get put to a uh, member check. So they read uh, the result and they confirmed whether, um, whether the result matched with their understanding. And the last method, I uh, was applying thematic analysis to find the emerging themes from the interview. All right, so in terms of the findings, there are some challenges faced by the graduate students in writing for scholarly publication. 
So I start from the formal knowledge. Yeah, so this is formal knowledge related challenges. Uh, in terms of the formal knowledge, uh, the students reported that they um, faced some barriers in maintaining the flow of certain section of the paper to achieve to achieve coherence, and they find it difficult to transfer the knowledge into group group manuscripts. So, no knowledge and practice um, are two different things based on the participants because knowledge is something in their mind while practice is the actual uh, writing process and products. And then from the lexical grammar point of view, uh, the problem was about academic vocabulary mastery. So the students or the graduate students felt that they lacked academic vocabulary mastery. So in terms of the ideas, yeah, expressing ideas, so those participants uh, argued that it, it was very difficult or it was very challenging to express their ideas in proper academic English. Um, and then, yeah, this study reported no challenges in grammar because those students uh, are master students of English language education and they have learned grammar for some semesters, yeah, nearly maybe three or four years in their undergraduate degree. And all of those students were graduated from English education department too. And well, yeah, so that's why their mastery of grammar yeah, is good, yeah based on their um, self-evaluation. So this, those problems could be seen in this interview accept. So uh, the first is about um, uh, the, the, the difficulties in transferring the knowledge and uh, the knowledge of the academic writing into the uh, the practice or the product, the process of writing itself. So the participant stated that um, although she already understood the idea or the theory of a good academic paper, it was quite challenging for her to transfer her knowledge into good, uh, good piece of academic writing or academic paper. And then the next one is, yeah, the second participant feel that she lacked practice of writing academically. And the last uh, participant reported even that uh, her reviewer even mentioned the word less academic, showing her ability to express some of the ideas in English. All right, so the next challenge uh, faced by those participants in writing for scholarly publication is ready to process knowledge. In this aspect, so most of the participants stated that peer review was a problematic process. There are two main reasons why this aspect or why this stage was considered difficult. The first one is ready to understanding the reviewer's comments and the next one is confronting with different beliefs between two reviewers. Uh, so this is the their voices, yeah. So one of the participants stated that uh, the her journal reviewer asked her to add qualitative data on her research, yeah. So it means that uh, the participant should conduct more, uh, you know, data collection. And also the second participant uh, reported that uh, there were two reviewers of her journal article and then both reviewers had somehow um, different belief regarding uh, how the research should be conducted.
Right, so let's move on to the next challenge, which is rhetorical knowledge. So in terms of the rhetorical knowledge, uh, the participants stated that understanding different expectations of different journals and composing a paper which is rhetorically convincing for the audience were two biggest problems in their uh, writing for scholarly publication journal. So as we can see here in this excerpt, interview excerpt, so uh, the participant uh, stated that it's quite difficult actually to write a paper which is appealing for the readers, uh, although they have known the theory. And also uh, understanding the expectation of the journal editor is essential. Uh, so that's why it is challenging for the participants. And the last challenges um, are related to the subject matter knowledge. Yeah, in terms of the subject matter knowledge, uh, one of the participants in this study stated that connecting different concepts of the theory is found to be problematic for her. This is because her topic is a topic that has not yet been extensively explored in the literature. As we can see in the interview, so her topic is about the teacher's practices of multimodality in an English class for hearing impaired students. So this is the practice of teaching English for uh, for very special learners. That's why uh, the participant found it difficult to find uh, the theoretical framework to frame her study. And yeah, so let us uh, move on to the discussion of this paper. So this state, this study basically suggests that the graduate students of English language education experience barriers of writing for publication in all four domains. They are formal knowledge, process knowledge, rhetorical knowledge, and subject matter knowledge. Uh, in terms of the relation of this study to the previous study, the result of this study supports the previous studies conducted by Fazel in 2019, where uh, despite their status as native speakers of English, Anglophone doctoral students in his study underwent some genre-related challenges. So although the previous studies explored uh, the doctoral students' uh, challenges in writing for publications, so the problems are quite similar for both uh, doctoral students and master students who are struggling to publish their articles as a part of their graduation requirement. And in terms of lexical grammar, the findings of the current research resonate with the previous research conducted by Corcoran in 2015, as well as Habibi in 2015, which report that EIL writers often find it challenging to use vocabulary, both academic and disciplinary in their academic writing. Although in this study, uh, the vocabulary related problem is about the use of academic uh, vocabulary. So disciplinary uh, pro vocabulary was not found to be a problem uh, in this research. And with regard to the complexities of peer review, so the finding of this study supports Liz in 2006, a research which revealed that the participants face the same effect effective challenges when they deal with the reviewer's feedback. So yeah, um, basically when the participants in my, my study and Lee's study found that um, sometimes it was quite problematic to deal with the reviewer feedback whose perspective were different from uh, the participants or the writers. And then in relation to the subject knowledge matter, so the finding, uh, the finding, sorry, uh, the findings of this study resonates with the one conducted by Chin in 2019, which suggests that non-native English writers find it challenging to write literature review. 
since synthesis and integration of different concepts should often be made in order to provide appealing rationale for the research. So one of the participants in my study uh, reported that because of uh, her topic, he she found it difficult to expand um, her theoretical framework. Yeah, as the topic has not been extensively um, researched or extensively investigated in the area of ELD research. And uh, the last section is the conclusion of the study. So, so this study investigates the um, English language education graduate students challenge in writing for scholarly publications in from the perspective of genre knowledge. And the analysis of the findings of this study revealed that all participants face multifaceted challenges of writing for publication in terms of formal knowledge, process knowledge, rhetorical knowledge, and subject matter knowledge. So there are some implications of this study, particularly in the area of EAP, English for Academic Purposes Teaching for graduate students. Uh, so the emphasis of the teaching or the training, the EAP training should be given to the aspects of scholarly writing that are considered challenging. So the result of this study can be used as, as, as an input for the course designer or for the curriculum developer of the EAP training for graduate students. So in addition, course designers of EAP trainings for graduate students might apply project-based learning in which learners are required to publish their papers written as part of the course assignment to enhance their academic writing skills. So the class um, could be designed into project-based learning, which uh, the learners uh, start from or begin their publication journey from finding the topic into uh, getting their paper published. So the assignment or the final product of the course could be used as um, the paper or uh, the journal article to be submitted later on. So they will experience the process, they will uh, deal with those challenges and they will experience um, you know, experiential learning from that process. So the conclusion of this research brings us to the end of my presentation. Thank you very much for listening attentively and wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.